Okay, so we got some trouble with the 7810 John Deere. Mr. Tim got a little violent with my steering or my tilt cylinder in this tractor. Right, Tim? Yeah, he says right. Uh, actually, he didn't get violent. He got in here and I guess he went to flip it up. And when he did, this is what happened. It got all loose on him. It popped. And it's up in behind here, and I'm hoping I can change this out pretty easily, because uh, I've never real, I've never tore one of these apart like this. So this is going to be a learning experience for both of us, um, or all of us, I should say, not just both of us, me and the YouTube world. Right, Tim? Yeah. Did you violently destroy my tractor? No. Okay. Well, yeah, you did. Anyway, so I called up John Deere and I said, "Hey, do you think you have that thing?" And up oh, there it is. Made in the U.S. of A. Oh, what the hell is wrong with this thing? It's not focusing. There we go. Gas spring kit. For additional instructions, please go to blah, blah, blah. And this thing is not that big. and uh, But it is expensive. $235 to get this thing to me. For that little thing. But when you're going across the field or going down a road and you hit bumps and stuff, your steering wheel is flopping around like that. It is not safe. So the deal is I have to fix it. And I have to put that in. So that's what we're going to do. Right, Tim? Right, Tim? What are you burning? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so that looked pretty easy, but we're not even close to where I need to be. Uh, the knuckle is here, like that, and I have no clue as to how that comes off. So possibly if I pull that whole thing up and I disconnect that there. That might come up enough. I'm just wondering if it comes down or goes up. I don't know. That's all new to me. So probably if I take these four bolts, there's four bolts on the bottom here, and they are Allen set screws. I'm thinking, oh yeah, it's multi-pieced here, I think. Well, we're going to figure it out together, so let me go find okay. it. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but we're going to do this anyway. What I'm hoping is to just take these four bolts out, and that should take the dashboard apart. They're Allen wrenches, or Allen screws. Yeah, see that? They're quite long. Set them all over here on one side, unless they're two different lengths. And hopefully this thing just pops out, and then I can... See what I've got in there, I can pull it out this way. If not, then we got a whole other issue of trouble, which I don't really want, but you know, such is life. We'll just tear it apart. This is how you do most of this stuff, but it's dangerous without that cylinder in there. And if I get this right, I can do it on the 7410 also. Oh, look at that, some bitch won't come out. Oh. Ooh, things went flying. Yeah, right. Yeah. There is no. All right, well, let me get the other two off and then we'll see what happens, I guess. Mr. Tim's with the Helen. 
Let's see. What are you doing? The 7410 has a left hand reverser, which is a bit of a pain in the ass if we don't get it right. Okay. What the hell was that? Broken plastic. That's interesting. Okay. That's part one of the dash. There's that bolt. There we go. That bolt. And of course, this guy here. Hmm. Tim, you don't need to be a pig. Alright. Hey, Tim, could you give me a, I believe it's a 10 millimeter socket there. Son of a bitch broke. Hello. Yeah, I'm tearing the tractor apart. Why? Probably can. Why? What's going on? Okay. Alright, well, I could send him down there. I'm sure he can do that. Hydraulic cylinder on the steering. The hydraulic cylinder in the steering. Yeah, you know all about it. 7810. Yeah, all right, bye. You got that 10 millimeter socket? Okay, so what I've done is I've pretty much, essentially I've just gutted out the, uh, the, uh, uh, the light part of this thing. And all I gotta do now is take this part here out which is two screws and I'm going to do that right now and hopefully then I will be able to just take those other things out of there um, of course I won't fit at least not very easily there's that one and of course we'll hit this guy here I think it's 10 millimeter. I'm gonna have to use a stubby wrench or stubby, a stubby little uh, screwdriver to put this back together. When I'm done, and hopefully this thing just pops right out, and it does. John Deere digital tachometer. There's the part number and everything. Made in the U.S. of A. Usually they have a date on here. I know this is a 2002 tractor. Why are you climbing up here and not doing your job? Well, I do, yes, but I need an extension, and I would like to have the whole entire kit. Right. Okay, so I've got them loosened up. Timothy got me the right wrench. Ooh, almost dropped it down the hole, made a mess. But I'm just throwing them on the floor there. I've gutted out that tachometer, so everything else looks pretty okay. Um, it really isn't that difficult of a job so far. It's just a matter of doing it properly, because if you do it wrong, and you can do everything wrong if you not careful. You really make a mess out of things. And honestly, I can't even see the top of this cylinder, so I'm almost going to have to pull the steering wheel off. Let me tilt that up. Oh, there it is. Okay. So what I'm seeing is right there, 
Right there is an Allen screw that I got to take out to get that little sucker out of there. And then at the bottom, it's just a pin that is, I don't know if it's pressed in or what, but I'm going to have to figure it out. It might have Allen screws on Allen, not Allen, but uh, it might have uh, Eclipse on it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out of there and, uh, yeah, hopefully, oh here, let me set you up. I got my tripod today. Which is a rare occasion, I guess. Come on, you devil. Won't clip in. Hopefully you can possibly see me here. Cursing and swearing at this thing. Um, yeah, I think we can get away with possibly just this. And that. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't want to damage anything. Because those parts are quite expensive. And I've got my Allen keys here. My Allen wrenches. I'm thinking maybe this one. There's one thing I hate about John Deere sometimes. They they use standard stuff in some places and metric in the other. And I just got a feeling this is going to be one of those cases. Because this is a standard. And, yep, wouldn't you know it. Made in USA by Japan Incorporated. God darn it. That's a quarter, so I'll have to go get a... Hold on. I'll go get a metric okay, set. Okay, so I've got my metric uh, Allen wrench, and it is a fit. Oh, ow! That hurt, actually. I'm not saying that for dramatics. I'm saying it because it actually hurt, damn it. But this is our guy here. I'm hoping that... This is, this is definitely the problem. It is completely, and when I say completely, I mean this thing is completely just not going to function properly. There's actually two pieces of, I thought that was a, a solid piece that went through. Apparently it's not. So anyway, this is not going to be difficult to do. At least not this time. Uh, might be difficult to get it in there. I mean, I don't even know how this thing works, to be quite honest with you. I really don't. Oh, I know how it works. That's crazy. This is nuts. Okay. Well, this is going to be a learning experience for everybody involved. Now, to get that out of there. Okay, so I've got that piece off, which is fine and all. No, and it will not work unless it has that thing depressed. What the fuck is this? It's just a pin. And don't you dare tell me I gotta take that whole goddamn thing apart just to get that out. Because I will be mad. Alright, I'm going for a punch set next.